Okay, I spoke to both of your fighters in the dress room. I'm cautioning you now, obey my commands at all times. Shake hands and good luck. We're ready to go. This is going to be a good one. Iran Barkley is going to want to take him out early for various reasons. One may be that the weight he was shaving to the very end. Barely made weight. James Tony comes in underweight. Remember, Tony is not a natural 167. Not natural at all. He's moving up seven to eight pounds. Barkley's the bigger man, likes to end his ninth work very early. For Tony, five of his last eight fights have gone to the 12th, and Barkley comes out swinging on Tony. That is no surprise. Both in black trunks, Barkley wild left misses. Tony missed with a right. Remember Barkley's chin, not what it used to be, and he's already wobbled. Tony's got him in trouble. And he's still swinging from his heels. Barkley already wobbled in this fight. Less than 15 seconds into it. Tony the quicker of the two and a better chin. More athletic at this point in his career. Almost all of Barkley's fights, the tone is set very early. Don't hold him, break. Step back. Step back. Richard Steele, the referee, steps in and breaks it up. Round one, scheduled 12-rounder for Barkley's super middleweight belt. Remember, Tony is the middleweight champ at the IBF. 33 and 0 with two draws. Cut that lands by Tony, who's surprisingly letting Barkley lean on him in the corner. That is a surprise. That's one of Barkley's strengths. He did it against Hearns, their second fight. Tony, not afraid of it, comes out with a counter punching. Don't hold him, don't hold him. Part of the game plan, perhaps, by Tony to wear down Barkley. Even more so since the win. Barkley's already bleeding. A right that lands by Tony, who looks confident and assured. Triples up on the left, landing each time effectively. 105 left in the first. Keep him up, keep him up. Tony with a combination. Lights out to the favorite. He's very well aware if he gets careless, the night's work could be over because Barkley can't take anybody out with one punch and has. No, the question no, being is will Barkley's strength progress rapidly as the fight moves on? Tony controlling the first. And Barkley hurt seconds into the fight, and he's hurt again. Tony seems to be the more aware of the two fighters. Picking up Barkley's moves early, and Iran lands a right. Tony laughs it off. No holding. A dangerous move against a fighter with the caliber of Barkley's strength. Round one, a very active round, is over. Barkley went to the wrong corner. Tony's from Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Barkley said he didn't know where it was. He apparently right. didn't know where his corner was either. The muffle punch that you're hitting him with, keep hitting him with him, and come back with that left hook. This is what you mean. All gonna do is pump the jab. I want the overhand, the head crack, you see you hit him with the head crack? Right. Okay, that's all he's gonna do. He's standing that's right up. That's all. He's standing right up, that's all. Go over with the head crack, what we got. But when you go to the outside, you gotta pump that stiff jam, that's like I showed you. Right. All right, that's all. That's all you gotta do. Good it right over here. That's all you gotta do, baby. Just keep that jam coming out. But he stands up. When he stands up, pump. Go first, though. Here we go, baby. Pump the jam, that's all I need, all right? Let's go. Let's go to work. Iran Barkley took the majority of the punishment in round one. We're set for round two. If it's anything like round one, we're in for a good night's work where Barkley came out very active. And Tony quickly slowed him down. Barkley took a beating against Hearns the first time they fought in 88. 
eventually won the fight, though. To get out. We're 45 seconds gone in round two. More leaning, specifically by Barkley, than in round one. Barkley's nose lightly bleeding keep after up, the first. Up. The crowd reacting to a Barkley punch that was not nearly as effective as they made it out to be. Tony is keeping close. A sign that he has very little fear of Barkley, although he most assuredly has some respect. Barkley with a big right that missed. That is best punch. Barkley's mouth is open, which would lead you to believe he's sucking for air midway through the second. Not a good sign. Tony's mouth tightly closed around his mouthpiece. Nice uppercut by Tony to land squarely. Punch it out. Keep him up. Keep him up. Barkley. Much more lethargic in this round than in the first. Break, step back. There's no question he's tired. Leaning over, leaning on him, mouth open. Tony doubles up on the left. Keep him up, keep him up. This only the second round. Barkley bleeding around the nose, both sides. This combination by Tony. Get out, punch and get out. Great. Richard somewhat Break. frustrated with the leaning, tells him to punch and get out. Barkley's nose is bleeding, and it was after the first as well. Let's go to the corner. James Stone. Continue to do this here. If we can do this for about five or six rounds, we can bust this guy up. All right? How you feel, baby? I feel like a fucking new chin. All right. Hit him in the muscle. That's what we gotta have. Right. Hit him in the muscle. Get your left hand is down already. Right. Hit him in the muscle. Your left hand is down already. All right. Let's keep on doing the same thing. Keep doing the same thing, Chad. That's all. Okay. That's all. But I need more than that. That was the punch that ooed and awed the crowd. Tony shrugged it off and never seemed to be in trouble. You see it again. Really, completely ineffective. Move your head. Move your head. All right? Move your head. We are awaiting round three. Barkley seems tired. He's landed 34% of his punches. Tony, closer to 55. Tony begins much lighter on his feet as he has been for the first two rounds. We presume he's won both. Barkley seems to be waiting for that one big punch. There's already swelling over his left eye. Nice uppercut by Tony to land. Well, not squarely. I can't recall if Barkley's eyes were a big problem Time in the past, but the swelling in his left, considering he hasn't taken really a barrage of punches yet, is very visible. Doubles up on the uppercut. Barkley comes back with an uppercut Break. of his own.
No holding. You may recall in the first round, Tony leaning against the ropes, trying to wear down Barkley, but it may have worked because since then, Barkley on, has moved work. much slower. Uh, right hand by Barkley, but he doesn't follow up on it. He just looks slow at this point. Tony getting busier. We're at Caesars Palace Indoor Pavilion in Las Vegas, Nevada. Third round scheduled 12 rounder. Tony the middleweight champ for the IBF. But it's Barkley's super middleweight title that's on the line. Tony moving up in class. A right hand. Rock Barkley and a left follows. Barkley comes back with his own combination. Tony easily avoided the punches. Punching it out. Barkley's punches really being Time. telegraphed coming from the Florida, side. Florida. Barkley losing his mouthpiece. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So at the first opportunity, Richard Steele moves him to his corner. Less than 15 left in the third. James Tony still very fresh. Punch get out of Punch get out. Barkley's been out of gas since around the national anthem. James Tony smiling as Iran Barkley bloodied sits down in his corner. I need more pressure behind the jab. Don't stand there and look at it. Keep the pressure. That's all, baby. Yeah, keep the pressure. All right? Okay. That's all. And I want the shortcut. Tony, 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 That's the punch that knocked out Barkley's mouthpiece. Tony pretty much scoring at will. He's just not being overly aggressive at this point because he realizes as the fight progresses maybe an unconditioned Barkley will weaken make his job easier so why take the big risk early as the fight moves on Barkley should weaken we're told by people that have seen extensive work of Barkley he's usually cut around the eyes so this no different but to this point, Tony controlling the fight, controlling the pacing of it, picking him in spots, nice right. Doubles up on it, then comes in with a left. Tony more aggressive in this round. At least in the early portions. A combination, they all land. Barkley comes back with something of his own, and Tony ducks out of the way. Barkley, a fighter who's risen to the occasion in his career. How many more times can he rise? Barkley possibly depending on that one big punch. And to this point anyway, Tony would be able to avoid it. The younger fighter, fresher legs, clearly more athletic. Barkley still though always poses a threat. Tony just doesn't seem to be too concerned about it. Even leaning on the ropes like he did in the first round, showing confidence. He turns around Barkley in the crowd, chanting, Tony. We expected somewhat Barkley to be a fan favorite, but that's not the case. No holding, great, step back. Halfway gone in round four. The bounce in Barkley's legs is gone. And while Barkley's mouth has been open since the beginning of the second, Tony's is not. He's in good shape. Barkley, 
This about the time Tony will take care of a fighter he has confidence against 20 of his 22 knockouts coming before the sixth round. Oh, nice left. Barkley taking a lot of punishment. The wrapping on the glove of Barkley coming off and Richard Steele giving Barkley actually a big break. As Tony waits. What is this? The they are just re-wrapping. Come on, Jeff. You got the roll on him. The glove of Barkley as you look at James lights out Tony. Time. That helps Barkley, who's bleeding profusely around the mouth, but as every round moves on, that kind of lessens his chances. It's a great middleweight coming to an end, at least at this point. Mouthpiece out of Barkley's mouth again. And the round ends. Barkley gives him a smirk, but it's not a laughing matter. We asked Jackie Callen, who is in the corner of Tony, if this was the game plan they expected, and she said, pretty much. She's sitting right beside us. Beside us, as you see the crowd. Much of that, the media. Barkley, as we mentioned earlier, most explosive in the early rounds. Wake up in there. Roll and Knocked down Hearns in the fourth it's last year and against it's Nigel Ben. Knocked him out early too, although Ben went on to win the fight. It just seems that Tony has been able to double and triple up on punches. While Barkley can't reel off more than one in succession. Round five. Completely James Tony's night to this point. Put your arm back. Pull Last back. round, Tony connecting on 69% of the punches. So he's getting more effective as the fight goes on. Still, he can't be careless. No holding, no holding. To this point, Barkley's most effective punches have come early in each round. As he tires, it becomes less effective. There's a left that hit Tony, who on, is punch. on the ring right in front of us. 45 gone in the round. Work and get out of there. Work and get out of there. Great. Step back. Tony, a very confident fighter. And this is a big fight, no question. Barkley, a big name. There are a lot of viewers of this tonight, but Tony seems very relaxed, very confident. It's Barkley that's been reaching to this point. Tony, the 1991 Fighter of the Year, according to Ring Magazine. Tony's style, some would say, is to stick and move, but. You're not too concerned about that now. You can just tell he feels a lot of confidence around Barkley. He's just much quicker. Caesars Palace, minute left in the fifth. Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the indoor pavilion. The heat in here could also affect Barkley. It's very warm in here. Barkley takes another punch and follows up himself. Your hands are free. Work. There you go. Roll. You got the roll, baby. Come on, your hands free. Let's work. Watch your head. We mentioned right after the fight introductions that Barkley's chin had been clearly susceptible in the last couple of years, but he has taken a lot of punishment tonight. And really, he was most buckled in the first as blood pours out of his mouth. Let's work. Tony walks away, almost not even looking at him, looking over his shoulder at Barkley. Watch your head. Get a 
Tony's won every round. And in every instance, pretty easily. Great. He won this one too. Not even breathing heavily. Get the, get the take, get the take. All we got to do is keep doing what we want. Look at the play over the tank. Double the That's the punch going to get us out. The double the foot. All right? He's okay. Right now. He's okay. He's okay. He's alright. He's okay. He's alright. 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 Double the foot. Even if you hit him with the, the muscle. Yeah, right. That's all. And when he starts rolling like that, trying to go underneath. Right. You got to bend the legs and go underneath. That's all. Oh, it's man. coming. It's coming. He's getting tired, champ. You got to roll and go underneath. That's what you got to do, champ. That's all. Need a drink? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Suck it up, baby. Come on, baby. Suck it up. Show him what you made out of it. Show him what you made out of, baby. Show him what you made out of. Seconds out. I got it, baby. Don't worry about it. We got it. Show him. Well, objectivity and accuracy, not a big concern of Barkley's corner, who told their fighter it's Tony who's getting tired. No holding. Twelve round, super middleweight title on the line. Barkley, a nice left, one of his best punches of the fight. And Tony fires back with a rapid combination. And less than 30 seconds into the round, Barkley already looks tired. Come on, let's work. It would seem to this point, maybe the only suspense left is if Tony will knock down Barkley. Keep him in front, keep him in front. To this point, if he goes at this pace, They'll win a unanimous 12-rounder. Watching this fight along with some celebrities and 4,000 fans. Come on, your hands are free. Let's punch. Roy Jones Jr., the one on the undercard. A man who someday may, who knows, fight Tony. That's no man. That's no man. That's no man, baby. That's been a favorite spot of Tony's work, night, leaning up against that side of the ropes. It would seem to be a, a dangerous spot. Watch your head. Because Barkley doesn't have to move to tag it. A combination, blood spews out of the mouth of Barkley. Come on, work. Watch your shoulder. Barkley hurt, trying to put an arm around him. He's in trouble. Oh, he takes a big left. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. If Tony were a more explosive puncher, you get the feeling he could have put him away. Come on, you much guys, earlier free work. Less than 30 remaining in the sixth. There's the thought, too, that the longer the fight goes on, Tony is just setting himself up. That's more of a chance for Barkley to maybe get lucky and land a punch. Do you want to put him away now and end it? Or give Barkley that chance? Sure, you're dominating the fight, but Barkley's still very dangerous, potentially. Flurry by Iran as the round closes. I told you, he get tired, boy. He don't like that. You gotta keep doubling the hook, Iran. You got to keep doubling the hook. Make him fight, baby. Hands up and make him fight. All right, baby. That's all you gotta do. Keep them hands up and it's go right to him, Tim. Make him fight. Double that left hook up. It's doubling up. He's turning that way. You gotta double it up. Let him reach out. Let's go. Here we go, baby. Open up. Take your time. Take your time. Give me some more rolling. Right. More rolling. You can see Tony picking his spots against the super middleweight champ. Double hook Though not flabby, Barkley does just look out of shape. 
Barkley looks like he's already had two fights tonight. His left eye nearly completely shut. James Tony's hard enough to find with his speed. One eye's not going to do it. Barkley in the sequin trunks and a big blood stain on his left shoulder. Nice triple combination. Don't Tony hold backs it. out. Great. Richard Steele separates the two fighters. Big right by Tony. That could have ended the fight. Barkley comes back with the left, hit him more with a shoulder, or I should say four. Punch and get out. Punch and get out. Great. Step back. You hold him. 45 gone. In the round. Schedule 12 round. Get out. Work great. Again, Tony picking his spots. He's never put enough punches together to really ever tire himself, which would make him more susceptible to Barkley. The right left combination. Punch it, get out. Punch it, get out. Barkley from the Bronx. Tony from Ann Arbor, Michigan. All of the University of Michigan. Work inside and get out. Move your arms back. Barkley said he'd never even heard of Ann Arbor. So he's clearly not a uh, Keep him up. Keep him up. geographical wins. Blood. <laughs> Heavily pouring out of Barkley's mouth at times. It's almost as if Tony enjoys watching Barkley wither away. This fight in his career coming to an end. Barkley in trouble. Protecting himself, not really defending himself. Come on, punch it, get out of there. Punch it, get out of there. Barkley, because he's trying to protect his left eye, has been keeping his head down. Now with a swollen eye, it's become very difficult for him to really see Tony. Most of Barkley's best punches are just glancing off the side. He can't see the man he's fighting, at least not well. Tony could land at will. They're trying to convince Barkley in his corner that it's Tony that is tiring. That is not the case at all. Tony not even breathing heavily. That's all you got to do. All right. Wake up now. Wake up in there. If he didn't have so much pride, Barkley almost seems like he just like to quit. That was the best punch of the round by Tony. A left uppercut followed by a right to the side of Barkley's face. Every round. Punch it, get out of there. Come on, your hands are free. Work. At this point, the people at ringside who are trying to avoid the blood out of Barkley's mouth have a lot more movement than Iran. It could get bloody before this thing's over, and the people at ringside are very well aware of that. Punch it, get out of there. Punch it, get out. Time. Steel calls time. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. And again, second time in the fight, the wrapping with 
Barkley's glove all the way around. has come off, and the crowd all over Richard Steele, who is not one of the more down, popular referees, although he is one of the more effective. The knock on him, of course, Tyson and Razor Ruddick. And he stopped it prematurely the first Let's time. Let's go, Iran. Wake time. up. Also, Let's go. Chavez and Taylor, which he stopped moments before the final bell. He's a very good boxing referee, Let's work. Let's but work. has been the chastise with the general public because of two very prominent fights in which he stopped it early. Breaks the minute gone in the eight. Pacing has slowed considerably since about the fourth or fifth. Barkley landed a decent punch. Oh, holy. But Tony coming out the winner in that exchange. And Iran stepping up the pace a little bit. Swinging wildly, but not even coming close to hitting Tony. Another indication Don't hold him. of Barkley's ineffectiveness is James Tony's face, which does not have a mark on it. Don't hold it, man. Let's work. If anything would have a mark, it would be the top of Tony's head because that's where most of Barkley's punches have landed. Less than a minute left in the eighth. Let's work. Your hands are free. Let's work. I just wonder to this point if Barkley can even see Tony, the swollen eye. Kind of ducking and leaning in. He just doesn't seem to have great vision right now. Tony in the corner just looking ready and shaking his head at people in the corner. Nice left uppercut by Tony. That was a good punch. And he follows with a combination, and Barkley wobbles slightly. They give Barkley some credit. He's taken some punches throughout this fight, especially now in the latter stages. A left and bleeding profusely is Barkley. His legs aren't wobbling, but his face is a mess right now. The mouthpiece is almost out. It's already come out twice. Blood out of the nose and mouth, streaming out. Now both eyes are almost shut. If he wasn't standing, you could almost say he was asleep. His eyes are almost closed. Okay, I need more pressure. Talk to me too, Iran. All right, Doc. I can see you, Doc. We can see you, Doc. I need more pressure. Talk to me, baby. Okay, baby. Okay, I need more pressure. They apply Give the me metal to got, try man. to reduce the swelling. Let me see the eye one more. Get him to see the eye. Get him to see the eye. Are you able to see all right, Iran? Yeah, no. You're not seeing double, Iran? No. They've been putting no. cotton in. I need more. I need a lot of pressure. In every round, round since, since the first. Make a fight. Round. Make a fight. Stop the bleeding. Give me all you got. Give me all you got. Come on, Jack. I need more pressure. No more water on that head. I'm going no. in the eye now. And you can sit down and punch at me. All right, All right let's go, baby. Let's show them what we made Take a drink. Take a drink. Let's go, second. Come on, come on. Take a drink. Take a drink. His corner's calling him champ, but it may soon be ex-champ. As James lights out, Tony has won every round convincingly. This is the ninth scheduled 12-rounder. He hasn't put him away, and if he hasn't to this point, you wonder if Tony will. We will just methodically march through him. Watch your head. For the final four. He's been effective leaning against the ropes tonight. Not something a lot of fighters have done in their career successfully against Barkley. Come on, don't hold him. Punch and get out of here. There has never been a point in this fight when Tony was in trouble. In about the third round, the crowd made a lot of noise from a Barkley punch. Punch get that out. landed at best on the shoulder. Strong right hand snapped off by Tony. Follows up with two lefts and Barkley misses. A step slow, a punch late. A minute gone in the ninth. Come on, your hands free. Don't hold, break. Richard Steele having to work a bit more as the fight progresses because Barkley's doing more leaning. Punch to get out, punch to get out, no hold. Oh. Well, 
Well, Barkley said before the fight he would like to shut Tony's mouth, and we'll say this for Tony, his mouth has been shut the whole fight. Because he came in in exceptional shape. Time to get out. Break. Step back. Now blood getting on Tony. Time to get out. Break. Get in the front. Harboring some intense resentment toward the other. Barkley said since they signed the fight, though, Tony had been much nicer to him. Three lefts by Tony, all land and a big right that does two. Hunting it on it, hunting it, right? of the night. He's lost every round, and they have called it off. Flip Pomansky, the fight doctor, came in. You could see Barkley pleading for them not to stop the fight, but you almost think that Barkley's corner agreed with Flip Pomansky's decision. Barkley is a beaten man as he walks over to James Tony, Bob Arum, laughing and joking with him. A younger, quicker man beat the old war horse, Iran Barkley. A total mismatch in foot speed and hand speed. Barkley, not as much disappointed as he is sad. He just didn't get it done tonight. Never had a chance. In a way, it kind of reminded you of Terry Norris ending Sugar Ray's career. It wouldn't be as sad if Barkley at times wasn't so helpless, so ineffective. Let me get these blows. James Tony couldn't finish Glenn Wolf, but he finished off Iran the Blade Barkley, and Tony's record will improve one more win. He's never lost a fight. He's become much more prominent since he beat Michael Nunn in Davenport, Iowa. You see Jackie Callen. Let's go to Michael Ladies Buffer. And gentlemen. Referee Richard Steele acting on the advice of chief physician at ringside, Dr. Flip Omansky, calls a halt to the bout at the end of the ninth round. The winner by TKO victory, and now the undefeated IBF super middleweight champion of the world, James. Uh, 